Today's video is going to be all about clean and fresh fragrances. So think about the clean aesthetic. If you like the sound of that, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. As already mentioned in the intro, today's video is going to be about my ultimate clean aesthetic fragrances. And the fragrances that I have picked are all very clean, fresh, and musky. This is my personal favorite fragrance category, and I really struggled to consolidate this list down. So I have 11 fragrances to share with you today. I have filmed a couple of other videos like this, so there will be some duplicates in here if you have seen those videos. So I'm super excited to get into this. So let's get started on the first fragrance. I'm going to start with an old favorite, and that is none other than Glossier U. I've had this one in my collection for quite a while now and the dent is quite low. I haven't been reaching for this as much recently just because I have quite a few options to pick from now, but I would say this is the ultimate clean girl aesthetic fragrance for many reasons. I would say the brand Glossier is a very it girl kind of clean vibes brand and this fragrance was definitely doing the rounds a couple of years back and for good reason it is so reasonably priced for the juice inside and this one just smells like your skin but better I would say this definitely pulls different on each individual that wears it I've smelled this on a few different people and it always smells a little bit different but for me, this is such a beautiful, soft, powdery iris fragrance that is almost like my second skin when I wear it. My preference is actually to wear this at bedtime now. Although this used to be almost my signature scent, I would chuck it in my bag and just take it out for the day with me. So I felt like this deserved an honorable mention in the list just because it's a trusty favorite and I think you can't really go wrong with it as an everyday fragrance. The next fragrance is Musk Therapy by Anishio. And if you are a regular viewer of my channel, I am sorry. I know I talk about this fragrance so, so much, but this is the closest thing I have to a signature scent in my collection. It is the fragrance that I reach for the most on a daily basis right now. And I just absolutely love Musk Therapy. Now, the first time I sampled this in store, it was just on a paper test strip and I wasn't in love with it. And then the next time I revisited this one, I was like, right, I'm going to try it on the skin. And that is when I truly fell in love. So in essence, to me, this is a very clean, fresh, slightly powdery, musky fragrance with a slight fruitiness. And you're getting some type of dark berry, whether it be like more of a blackberry or a blueberry, quite light in the opening. And it's what gives this a little bit of a unique touch in my opinion. And it has this really gorgeous, juicy black currant in the opening. You can perceive it to be any type of dark berry, to be honest. It's not super prominent. It's just there to give this a slight sweetness. And I adore Door wearing musk therapy. This will definitely be the one that I reach for when I don't know what to wear. It never fails me. Yes, it's a simple profile, but it will just leave you smelling fresh, clean, a little bit musky. There's some light white florals in here, a little bit of sandalwood in the base. And to me, this is just the ultimate clean aesthetic fragrance. So another honorable mention, I couldn't do this video without featuring it. Sorry I feature it so often, but at least that shows that I absolutely love this one. The next fragrance is Luby Rouge by Christian Louboutin. I'm gonna take the lid off because it is so reflective. And don't worry, I do have a number of different price points within this video. This is definitely at the higher price points, but I do feel like this again fits the video so well. It's clean, it's fresh, it's a little bit musky but this has a unique twist to it in my opinion. It's clean aesthetic with a little bit of an edge. Now it is a simple scent profile. You're mostly gonna get cardamom, vanilla, there's some iris, and I do get a musky vibe from it too. 
It's a very soft fragrance. It's not super powerful. So I would recommend sampling this one first just because it is a pricey fragrance. But if you like the sound of a very soft vanilla with a slight spiciness from the cardamom, it's got this beautiful powdery iris that just smells so clean and fresh. And then it's a little bit musky in the dry down. You get that sweetness from the vanilla too. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, very fitting for this list. It's a soft vanilla fragrance that suits that clean and fresh vibe. The next fragrance is from Clean Reserve and this one is called Skin and it is the Reserve Blend. And this is another trusty favorite from my collection. I used to wear this one so much around a similar time to Glossier U actually. This is a very light fragrance. You definitely need to overspray this, but if you like your subtle, clean, lightly floral, fresh, musky fragrances, I would highly recommend checking this one out. It's another one that is like your skin, but better, but it does have that sweet floral touch to it. There's a praline note in here and you're not gonna perceive it to be a gourmand praline. It just adds a beautiful sweetness to the overall musky composition. It's lightly floral, as I already mentioned. It's a great out of the shower fragrance or before bedtime fragrance. And for those of you that don't like your super strong, powerful scents, then this is definitely one that I would recommend sampling. This is also a scent that, like I said, I would wear out of the shower. And then you could also add another fragrance over the top because it's very inoffensive and it's not going to interfere with whatever fragrance you choose to wear for the day. Beautiful floral musk. I'm sure many of you know this one already. It was definitely very popular two, three years back and for good reason, but I just have to say it doesn't last long at all. I only get about two, three hours wear out of this, which I know is atrocious, but I absolutely love the scent profile. So I will still wear it, but like I said, for me, it is an out of the shower scent or a before bedtime scent, or I will use it as a layering base out of the shower. The next fragrance is from Zerzhov and it is Casamirati Dama Bianca. Now this is a little bit of a wild card because I do truly feel like it suits the clean aesthetic. It's definitely clean and fresh, but at the same time, it's also sweet and floral, but the florals are purple florals. So I'm mostly getting the violet and the iris. It's definitely a soft and pretty vibe. I would also recommend this as a bridal scent, but I do feel like this fits the clean aesthetic because it is so understated, yet at the same time, very, very pretty. It has a unique note of kumquat in the opening. So you're definitely getting a slightly different vibe from the overall composition. You've then got the purple florals through the mid, and then you've got a sweet vanilla in the dry down that's also soft and a little bit powdery, and then the musk too. So again, this is another light fragrance. It does last on my skin, but it's not going to project like crazy. It's just going to smell very pretty, clean, fresh, a little bit floral and very ethereal at the same time. So I love, love, love Dharma Bianca and I feel like it deserves to be in this list. Next up is Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. And this is another trusty favorite that's been in my collection for quite a long time. And it's one of my favorite designer fragrances of all time. This is again, in my opinion, the ultimate clean aesthetic fragrance, the ultimate musk fragrance. It is just incredible, but you have to like your musks. Now I would describe this as smelling like a cashmere sweater. It's warm, it's fuzzy. It smells fresh, but it's not super clean. It's more of a musky fragrance, but it's very understated and very cool at the same time. Again, I am sure many of you have already tried Pure Musk. It's definitely a little bit of a cult classic if you like musky fragrances. And if you've not sampled it, I highly recommend you do so. A lot of department stores sell this one so you can go and spray it on your skin and see how it works with your individual skin chemistry. But if you like the sound of a warm hug or a cashmere sweater, it's musky, it's not sweet at all, but you are gonna smell clean and fresh, almost like your skin, but better. You're just gonna smell really, really good in this one, and I love it, so 
yeah, that's Pure Musk by Narciso Rodriguez. Next up, we have Apollonia by Zerzhov. And this one is a little bit more of a powerhouse than some of the other fragrances within this list. It's still very much a clean and musky fragrance. It is fresh, but it's definitely not as fresh as some of the others. It's definitely more clean and musky, but this one packs a lot more of a punch. I would definitely wear way less sprays of this one than Musk Therapy, than Glossier U, than Pure Musk as an example. Now, in essence, this is a musk fragrance with some white florals. It's a very attractive musk, in my opinion. The type that makes you want to get a little bit closer and smell someone's neck. Totally unisex, in my opinion. It's, I guess, a sexy, clean, fresh, musky fragrance. And those white florals just give this a unique twist. They are quite heady as I've mentioned and the musk is very potent very prominent but you do get a creamy vibe from this too you've got a very buttery orris note through the mid which also gives this a little bit of earthiness I would also recommend this as a bridal fragrance and it would be in my top musk fragrances for sure so if you have not sampled Apollonia by Zerzhov I highly recommend getting a sample of this one because musk fragrances definitely react differently depending on your skin chemistry so never sample this one just on the paper always sample it on the skin and that goes with any musk fragrance to be honest or any fragrance in general but more so musk fragrances so Apollonia is definitely such an amazing clean aesthetic fragrance but it has a little bit more of a punch to it next up is Mise en Serre and this one is Poudre d'Or and this is such a light clean fresh fragrance that smells like the most incredible luxurious body cream and I know it's a little bit weird to describe a fragrance like that but it smells like the most expensive creamy thick body cream that I could ever imagine. It's got that fresh out of the shower feel to it. It's got iris, it's definitely musky, but it's got that buttery creaminess to it as well. I don't wanna say milky, but it smells thick and luxurious on the skin. That is how I perceive it anyway. So if you could imagine the most luxurious body cream that's very, very lightly scented. So it's got a little bit of tiare flower in it, a very teeny bit of unsweetened vanilla, there's a light sandalwood in the base and then it's a little bit musky. That is what Poudre d'Or smells like to me. Incredible fragrance to wear fresh out of the shower or if you want to smell very clean and fresh. I imagine pairing this with a crisp white shirt or maybe a linen white shirt, even a white t-shirt. It's very pared back, yet at the same time, I find this one to be extremely elegant incredible fragrance definitely get your nose on this one if you have not already i feel like mise en serre as a whole suits the kind of clean fresh aesthetic mostly they have the most beautiful fragrances but yeah poudre d'or fits this list so perfectly next up we have musk moshes by rania j and i've spoken about this in a few videos now and this definitely suits the clean aesthetic. It's clean, fresh, and musky. Now, it is a little bit similar to my trusty favorite that is Anishio's Musk Therapy that I talked about at the start of this video. However, this one is almost the gourmand version of Musk Therapy. Now, it features quite an intense musk, and it's another fragrance that almost reminds me of a cashmere sweater or a warm hug, but add in a little bit of a sweetness to that. You've got a creamy sandalwood too. You've got an almost powdery iris note in here, which is so incredibly beautiful. This is a very classy musk fragrance and it lasts so long on my skin. And I do feel like they are similar, but different enough. So if musk therapy doesn't work for you because it's maybe a little bit too soft, then you might like Mosque Muscus because this one definitely packs a little bit more of a punch. Like I said, it's sweeter in the opening. It's got this cocooning, comforting feeling about it. It's difficult to describe. I will try to link somewhere where you can get a sample below because I feel like if you love musky fragrances, you need to get your nose on this one because it's such an incredible, 
incredible composition and you will see me talking about it quite a lot in the future but yes it definitely deserves to be in this list it's a clean fresh musky fragrance as i've mentioned but it leans a little bit more on the musky side not as fresh it's a little bit more clean musky the next fragrance is lumiere blanc by olfactive studio this one is quite new to my collection i've featured it in one video so far but it's absolutely made the cut for my ultimate clean aesthetic fragrances this is the most beautiful clean fresh musky fragrance that's also a little bit aromatic projects beautifully but it has that spicy touch to it too so it does have some cardamom and some star anise in here which gives this a really gorgeous spicy kick in the opening but this does have an almost milky feeling to the overall composition and i think that comes from the almond note and maybe the tonka bean combined which gives it an almost creamy sweetness you've also got sandalwood you've got iris and of course you have musk too an incredible fragrance i would highly recommend getting your nose on it and i am just swooning over this bottle the juice is almost a little bit milky i don't know how to explain it but it's not completely clear i don't know if it's just my eyes but i think it looks incredible and if you like the sound of a more clean yet spicy musky fragrance, I would highly recommend Lumiere Blanc. Definitely a new favorite of mine and worthy of being in this list. And last, but by no means least, we have Mojave Ghost from Byredo. Now I could have included quite a few different Byredo fragrances within this video. However, I was thinking about the ones that I own and the ones that I like reaching for when I just want something clean, fresh and a little bit musky and Mojave Ghost fits the bill for me because I feel like it has a unique twist to it too. I love that almost salty greenness that the olive gives but then you've also got that beautiful musk in the base and then you've got that beautiful ambrette which gives this an overall woody slash kind of musky clean feel about it. There's some creamy sandalwood too, and also some creamy magnolia. So lots of creamy notes within the composition. There is a powdery note of violet in here, which I feel balances out the almost saltiness that comes from that olive. And then this dries down to be more of a woody base. So it's not a typical clean aesthetic fragrance. However, it's one that I would highly recommend if this is the type of scent profile that you love. It's been around for years. You've probably sampled this one or heard about it. But like I said, try them on the skin. These types of fragrances always need to be tried on the skin. But there are a lot of Byredo fragrances that fit this category. I'm sure some of you probably prefer Gypsy Water or maybe Blanche. So yeah, whatever works for you. And if you are a Byredo fan, let me know your favorite one or more specifically, your favorite one that fits this category. But yeah, I love Mojave Ghost. So those were all of the fragrances that I wanted to recommend in today's video. I have a lot more in my collection that could have fit into this, but I was already including quite a lot of fragrances. So please do let me know what your favorite fragrances are that fit this aesthetic. Think clean, think fresh, think musky. If this is your vibe, please do let me know down in the comments. This is definitely my kind of vibe, but I also like so many other categories of fragrances, but I have to say it is one of my favorites. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.